Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Most gas furnace repairs will require some disassembly. Before you attempt this, you should turn off the power to the furnace and shut off the gas supply as well. To gain access to components like the gas valve, flame sensor, and the draft inducer motor assembly, simply slide the upper access panel up to detach. To remove the gas valve, use pipe wrenches to separate the gas supply pipe union. Now unthread the gas inlet pipe from the gas valve. Disconnect the wires from the valve. Use a large flathead screwdriver to unthread the gas manifold mounting screws. Pull the manifold and gas valve assembly free. You can now unthread the gas valve from the manifold. This will require some effort. Before you replace or install a new gas valve, apply some sealant to the threads of the manifold. Now thread the valve onto the manifold. Reposition the manifold on the burner assembly and rethread the screws to secure. Apply sealant to the threads of the gas valve pipe. Then thread the pipe into the gas valve assembly. Realign the gas pipes and secure the union. Connect the wires to the valve. To remove the draft inducer motor assembly, first detach the exhaust vent tube from the outlet port. Next, detach the vacuum tube from the pressure switch. Use a flathead screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the pressure switch mounting bracket. Move the bracket and switch out of the way. Note the orientation of the motor power supply wires, then disconnect them. Unthread the assembly mounting screws. With the screws unthreaded, you can remove the assembly. Reinstall or replace the draft inducer motor assembly by positioning it on the burner housing. Then replace the mounting screws to secure. Connect the power supply wires.
reposition the pressure switch and mounting bracket and replace the screws. Connect the vacuum tube to the pressure switch. Position the exhaust vent tube on the outlet port and secure it. Replace the upper access panel to complete the repair. To reach components like the control board, the door switch, and the blower assembly, you will need to remove both access panels. Slide the upper panel up first followed by the lower panel. To remove the blower assembly, reach in and release the wires from the twist retainer. Disconnect the blower motor and control board wire harnesses. Next, disconnect the spark igniter wire from the board and detach it from the retainer. Disconnect the black L1 wire and the white neutral wire from the board. Now use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws, securing the blower assembly support bracket. Carefully slide the assembly out. To remove the blower motor, use an adjustable wrench to loosen the blower wheel set screw to release the blower wheel from the motor shaft. Note the orientation of the motor in the blower housing, then use a quarter inch socket or wrench to unthread the motor mounting screws. Carefully pull the motor out. Install a new motor by first connecting the wires to the appropriate terminals. Secure the wires in the twist retainer, then insert the motor shaft into the center of the blower wheel and position the motor on the mounting brackets. Rethread all of the mounting screws to secure. Center the blower wheel in the housing, making sure the flat side of the motor shaft aligns with the set screw. Now tighten the screw. Realign the blower assembly on the support rails and slide it into position. Replace the mounting screws to secure. Feed the L1 and the neutral wires through the retainer and reconnect them to the appropriate terminals on the control board. Feed the spark igniter wire through its retainer and reconnect it to the board. 
Connect the blower motor and control board wire harnesses. Secure the wires in the twist retainer. Reinstall the lower access panel first, followed by the upper panel. With the furnace fully reassembled, turn the gas supply back on, along with the power, and your furnace should be ready for use.